My name's Dylan. I'm a composer and an artist. My training's in music composition, that can be classical, I guess. Most of the stuff I do these days involves electronics and lighting, sort of an installation theatre sort of context. So I spend a lot of time either in the workshop or in front of the computer, or in front of the piano. When I was doing my masters in the States, I had this piece where the soprano just had to have this simple magic lantern that she was singing about. And so I asked a friend who was into electronics and stuff like that, he was also a composer, he helped me make that. And then he kind of introduced me to you know, microcontrollers and controlling LEDs. And when I saw kind of what's possible, I thought that was very exciting. And I sort of haven't turned back since. I'm sort of interested in ideas rather than just sound. It just so happens that sound's the best way to convey most of my ideas, but sometimes it's better to use lights or you know, some strange instrument or gadget. I'm interested in, in rhythm, I think. You know, obviously, rhythm's a big part of sound and music, but it's also you know, there's rhythm in lighting and an image. So while I'm here, I'm sort of working towards a couple of projects, or one that's happened, and both of those projects involve a lot of robot or automated instruments. Some are like more traditional instruments, like a mechanical violin, automatically bowed, and other things are less traditional, more percussive things. A little bit of circuit bending and kind of hacking old toys and devices and things like that to make strange sounds. I mean, I didn't study programming or electronics, it, you know, just sort of teaching myself, sort of working it out as I go. YouTube. And that's why this residency is so good, because it's sort of time and space to kind of work things out and have things go wrong without the pressure of having a final outcome. I spend so much time soldering cables and troubleshooting a lot of the technical, boring side of things. The idea is the easy part. I've got millions of ideas. But yeah, it's the making, making things happen, making things work. That's the, that's the tricky part especially when you're sort of just working out how to do it yourself. It's just this strange little hole in the wall that leads to this concrete room. I don't know what it is or what it was there for, but it was just full of stuff and cleared it out and it's got this, it's got an amazing resonance actually. I think that's where the naughty kids used to go because it's like full of graffiti. It's sort of the, the silhouette of a man and said, like, who am I? Over the front of it, it was a little bit too deep for the the sort of installation I was going for. So we painted over that. So I'm just making these robot mirrors, or mirrors that I can just control the angle so that in that space I can kind of reflect light and reflect the violin. Well, I'm hoping that um, kind of students can come in and can climb up into the space, or maybe just sit on the platform and, and watch the installation in, in lunchtime or whatever. There's little concave parts in the ceiling, which I put LEDs in each one, just to make patterns in the, in the ceiling. It was cool, but it didn't really work with the violin. Once I programmed it and hit go, it wasn't so interesting. I don't know why, but that seems to be the way I work. I like make heaps and heaps of stuff and then put it in a room and then sort of take it away, sort of like sculpting or something, like you're carving, like you have all these ideas in here and then you just kind of slowly take them away until you know, there's just one or two ideas left. Sometimes if things don't work how you expect them to but they do something else, that's always exciting. It's probably the part I get most satisfaction out of, you know, like having an idea, thinking how am I going to make that work and then sort of that technical side of things is probably the part I enjoy the most. Every project I learn more and more which I kind of incorporate into other projects. I do always feel like, yeah, I'm working towards my magnum opus. <laughs> Don't know what that's going to be. Probably pretty epic, or probably not. One of the two. <laughs> <laughs>